agreeing on what we're doing, you know, together. We all have to feel good about it. We all have to understand that um, there are going to be a lot of different kinds of things happening there, but we're going to try to make it all one. You know? So we're inviting people to come to camp, you know, even to visit, you know, even just stop by a day, just stop by for the day, come by, get wet. Yeah. <laughs> when you go home and all your clothes stuck to you all wet. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we got pretty good rain now. I think one of that picture shows all that rain that came. We just come with fun of this in just a little while, I guess. But uh, but yeah, we're, we're, we want people to come down there and, and visit with us and see what we're trying to do and pray with us and sing with us. And if you have your own way, of getting healed and health and keeping your right direction moving, you know. You know, anybody that that's working towards positive enlightenment, I guess, positive spirituality, uh, being brother and sister in this life, you know, as long as we're doing this together and nothing brings any harm to us. Nobody brings darkness or anything like that to us, you know. All we want to do is be strong together. So we're welcoming anybody to bring what keeps them alive, what has saved them, what has kept them free from the darkness, you know, kept them in the light, songs, and prayers, and lifestyles, you know, whatever. Because, you know, eventually we may look like a hippie commune, you know, mm -hmm. but that's okay, you know, because it, we just want it to be very real. We want it to be real. And everybody feel welcome there, and everybody feel like they can speak out, and, and enjoy them life, enjoy their own life, enjoy our lives, learn something from each other, you know, stand together and, and become a unity so that we all can share, you know, together, hang on to all this love and share with everybody, <coughs> you know. Um, but I, I've been there, I've been back for two weeks now. This is my second trip down here. I went, drove across the country twice now. Uh, just me and another guy drove down last time, just two of us. We went nonstop all the way. You know. Well, we stopped for a couple of burgers here and there. But, you know. We knew that some, our cook down there is going to take us off the burger thing. You know. <laughs> so we, we got fattened up a little bit on the way. But now I'm losing yeah. weight again, so. But that's all right because I don't need to. I don't need to eat three times a day because I'm just. I only need to eat according to how much I do, which isn't a lot, you know. Um, so I could live on a little hamburger now. You know, but, um, but you know, if you, if you want to come down and see us or, or or learn more about the camp, you know, like. You know, there's several people that are doing these kind of things for us, helping us out to get the word out, helping people understand what's going on down there, you know, and that we're fine, and we're here for the, for the run, for how long it takes. You know, I have no idea how long I'm going to be there. Yeah, you know, I ain't even thinking about how long I'm going to be there. It's just like, let's go today, let's go today, let's go today, whatever we can do, you know. I mean, I go to home back home, you know, in Oregon, but... I'm just going to hang on to it for a while until I figure out what I'm going to do. You know, I, I, if I don't feel any need to go back there now, except for my stuff, you know, get my dirty socks or something. You know. <laughs> but we're also starting to, uh, you know, I, I, I told Betty we're going to start doing some uh, beating classes because I'm an expert beater. Uh, you know, like um, you see beadwork maybe someplace. You know, like um, I don't know, kind of got down here. But I do all kinds of beadwork and. Uh, I got tons of stuff at home, but it cost me a thousand dollars to go get it, you know. But, so I probably just couldn't buy it down this way and use it. But we're also opening up the camp to that. You know, anybody wants to learn how to do things like that. And we're also inviting other people to bring their skills down if they want to teach something for a couple of days. You know, just take camp there and teach somebody whatever, you know. To share each other, to think with each other, and also learn together about what we can do together. You know, how we can become unified, how we can become strong together while we're learning these things and doing these things. So we'll be sharing things together, having a good time, walk away with something that we can show off, you know, 
You know how women shop their new rings, they walk around like this, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but I've seen it before, so I know. <laughs> but, uh, but whatever, you know, whatever a person would want to come down there for, you know, even if you don't even know why you want to come down there, just come down here anyway. Because it happens a lot. People feel a need to be somewhere and they go and then they find themselves there or they find a reason to do something. Or maybe they find a healing there, find a word or two about what they need to hear. You know, you never know. So if you feel any kind of calling at all, you know, go. Because, you know, we're, we're standing there and we're just waiting to sing with you, to pray for you, to help you get healed, help you get strong, you know, help you become your best self. You know, to become that beautiful person, that spirit that you are. You know? That's what we want to see. You know, because I know all of you. I mean, that light within yourself, and that's what I look for when I look for people. You know, what's going on with them? All of us have that child in us. You know, running around, hopping around, getting in trouble. You know, we all have that. You know, and and we need that to remain human. I tell my kid, don't ever quit being children. Just don't get, don't become a, a, a hardened adult of all things, you know, because it'll ruin you. Because you'll you'll start um, thinking the wrong way. You'll start thinking grown up. You know? You'll forget what it's like to laugh and have fun. You know, and you'll become hardened against the world. And then that's what, all these people out here that are mean, they're like that because they forgot how to be a child. You know, we know we know how a child is about unconditional love, right? You know, no matter what we yell at them and cut them off with this and that and, and all these things, but to ultimately always come over and hug you and tell you they love you, no matter how sad they are or how afraid they are, they'll still come over and do that. And that's the way we all have to be like that. You know? So we need to get together and find out what we need to do to make ourselves like that, you know? where we can go any place and, and everybody loves each other, everybody cares about each other, and everybody will stand up beside each other regardless. You know, that's how we have to stand together, take care of each other that way. Everything else will come together. You know, we don't need a lot of stuff. We just need to be together, and the world will come to us that we need, you know. And we really don't need very much. I mean, I really don't need some of the things I have, like fries. So, I, mean, I can cry a little bit, you know, but I'll get over it, you know, but fry hamburger or fry the gravy. Oh yeah, I bought a cookbook today over to museum. Cause we got a girl right now, she showed up yesterday, she's from Alabama, and she's talk, talking about that food that she grew up on and stuff, and I found a book over at the museum called, uh, what was it? Oh, cracker! It's a cracker made uh, cookbook. You know, they used to call the people that were here a long time ago. You know, the first people that come in. You know, and they they just start at us saying, "Ain't nothing but a hillbilly." You know, I'm a rebel. I'm this way, but I'm a cracker and I'm a good cook. You know, and uh, so they got this cookbook out. And I'm going through it. And I made Drew hungrier than heck going down the road. You know? <laughs> And me and her were just talking about that last night, how, you know, some of the food she has, and it made me wish and wish, because I got friends that know how to cook like that too, you know. But, I mean, that's how we have to be. We have to learn from each other so that we can all be together and be comfortable, you know, and, and have the unconditional love for everything we're trying to do. And in doing that, ain't it going, no rubber bullets are going to stop us, and no mace are going to stop us, and no bad thoughts are going to stop us. We're going to keep on going. And pretty soon we get so strong that they just walk away from it because they know they can't do nothing. You know? They're already scared anyway. They, we start praying for them, it bothers the heck out of them because they don't know what the heck we're doing. Because you know? <laughs> we might hurt them with that, you know? That's the way they were standing, right? It made me laugh around. They, all that armor and stuff they had on to protect themselves from prayer, you know? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I said, what's going to happen when things get rough, you know? Like, what if I raise my eagle feather, you know? Are you going to go get your armored vehicles, you know? <laughs> what if I start stinking? You're going to call in the National Guard, you know? But, but yeah, this is, uh, that, that, so, you know, where we're at now, uh, I feel like I'm at home again, you know? It's where I want to be. 
I got no interest in going home at this point. I don't know how long I'm going to be there, you know, or nothing. Unless that snake gets mad at me again, or that, that alligator keeps looking at me like that. <laughs> <laughs> then I might move over a little bit, you know. <laughs> but yeah, you, to, you kind of have to get used to that camp because there's like a zillion mosquitoes there, you know. And, and yeah, we walk around, it dumps all over us all day long, you know. And uh, alligators in the pond just a little ways, like from here to there, and he watches us all day. Well, Drew's been feeding him, that's why he's doing that, you know. <laughs> Throwing food over there, now he climbs up on the bank looking for us, you know. Like, hey, what time are we going to eat, you know. And I guess a big cat come by here the other day, and a bear came by the other day. No snakes yet. Just some mean girls came by one day. <laughs> but I thank you very much that you invited us up here because I like to come and meet new people and old people that I've met before. And uh, especially people who care about each other, you know, who openly love each other. And uh, that's really important to not only me, but to you, you know, even though you don't realize the full extreme need for that, you know. But thank you very much. Thank you. We'll have the box over here. Is it going to be stored over here? If you, somewhere, this blue box right here, if you want to come donate to camp, this is going straight back to them um, tonight. Um, obviously, anytime you want to go to the camp, please go. Uh, but we are going to be officially hosting a trip sometime in June. Big caravan of us going down together. Um, and like he said, if you have any skills that you would like to share, I have to say it's like one of the most incredible experiences of my life to do some Lomi Lomi uh, massages for some of them who have been holding down camp. And I was doing it in the middle of a standing rock teepee facing the east and like throwing that unneeded energy up into the sky. And it was just as healing for me as I'm sure it was for some of the people that I assisted. So. Um, with no further ado, um, we are so excited to be presenting Awake tonight. Um, one more time, thank you to Squeeze Juice Works. Please give them a round of applause for hosting this event tonight. Um, a shout out to Josh 